From the Kitchen Restaurant in Sacramento, California, Sunfed Ranch brings you Beef Hacks with Michelin-starred Chef Kelly McCown. So most people would think that uh, living with a Michelin star chef is uh, advantageous. Uh, you can eat whatever you want, which is kind of funny because uh, my girlfriend's favorite thing to eat is meatloaf. So what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start off with a little bit of uh, Sunfed Ranch, their uh, grass-fed beef here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with two pounds, all right? Now this doesn't necessarily need to be exact, once again, um, I would say that as, um, as Jacques Pepin said, that uh, a recipe is nothing more than a snapshot in time. So once that two pounds is in there, there's a couple of things that we need to work on. So first off, um, everybody's different with their seasoning, but what I like to do is, uh, first off, we have a little bit of minced onion. I'm just gonna put that in there, all right? And then um, right here, we've got a little bit of fresh chopped garlic. Place that in as well, all right. Then an ode to my father, we have a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, all right. Now I like a lot in there, but it's really up to you as you'd like the flavor profile. Remember that the beef itself is gonna soak up a lot of those flavorings, all right. And so that's always a big complaint. People make their meatloaf is that it's just kind of dry and sort of tasteless. Uh, so make sure that you're almost over seasoning, okay. Uh, also, we've got some uh, fresh black pepper here. Uh, once again, I like a, a lot myself. Um, a big scoop of Dijon mustard in there as well. All right, and then of course, you can't make meatloaf in America without a big a smidgen of ketchup, all right? Now, uh, you can get whatever kind you'd like, but I happen to think that, uh, you know, Heinz ketchup, it's the best one, all right? Now, what you're also going to do, and this is where uh, a lot of the uh, problems sort of come in, is the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to add eggs to this mixture. Now, the eggs are going to help bind everything together. Uh, so for about two pounds of meat, I'm going to do about uh, three whole eggs. All right, I'm going to crack those in there. Get these from uh, our, far our local farmer's market. They're amazing. Place those in, all right, like so. And then we're also gonna get a good amount. This is just a panko. This is Japanese breadcrumb. I like these better. They're a little bit drier. Have a tendency to soak up all that juice as the meatloaf is cooking, all right? Keeps it from uh, looking like a meteorite by the time it's all done. So to that, I'm usually gonna add probably about two cups, two solid cups. It seems like a lot, but that's gonna help bind the whole thing together. At this point too, we've also nice amount of seasoning in there. Then here comes the trick. So a lot of times when people make the meatloaf, what they'll do is just mix it together. The idea is just uh, the same as if you were making sausage or something like that. The idea is that we're emulsifying all these ingredients together. So uh, if you got some kids in the house, maybe they'll help you with this. But the idea is then you're gonna go ahead and mix this all, but I'm gonna show you in a second once I get this started, how I make sure and do this. So at this point, it looks kind of messy, not quite ready to go. And then here's the trick. Once you kind of get this slightly formed, take it out and then kind of squish it between your fingers. I know it doesn't look that great, but what you're gonna do is you're emulsifying all the fat and the ingredients together. Then you're gonna have a nice smooth meatloaf when you go to slice it. And that's super, super important. The other trick that we're gonna do is once we get this all done, like I said, you're gonna squish it together. Once it looks like it's come together almost like dough, well, at some point, we're gonna use this terrine mold right here to make our meatloaf. And I'm gonna kind of generally form this and place it into here. And then I'm gonna push it down, make sure that the meatloaf stays nice and emulsified. And make sure you've got a nice pretty top to it. Put that down. Like so. Now, the next thing that's super important to this, once you get all this placed in there, is that most people would just throw this in the oven, uh, which is where it needs to go. Uh, but the reality is, is what I like to do is I like to place this pan in a little tray of water. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep the bottom from drying out, 
All right, it's also gonna give it a little bit of a moist heat. And then we'll cook it at about 375, 350 to 375 for about 35 to 40 minutes. And in the last 10 minutes, if you're a classic uh, meatloaf aficionado, you will glaze the top with a little bit of ketchup, throw it back in there and just let it brown nicely over the top.